Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I wanted to share another easy and delicious dinner recipe and this one's great even for a weeknight because it's really simple to put together. Today I'm making bell pepper and chicken quesadillas with an avocado and peach salsa and I love all the flavors in this dish. So it's by no means authentic Mexican food but I am going to add some of those spices. We're going to add some cumin, uh, some chili powder and some paprika. So it's going to give it lots of flavor and then I love my homemade avocado avocado and peach salsa. It's the best thing and it's so refreshing and it's so simple to put together. You don't even have to go to the store uh, to buy any canned salsa. So let's get started on the recipe and I'll show you how easy it is to make. So I like to start things off by preparing my salsa first. So in a small bowl here, I have two green onions. So we're using uh, the white and the green parts today. And then I have a small bunch of fresh cilantro that I've chopped. So into my bowl, I'm going to add one small diced tomato and I've diced one small peach, and I love adding peaches or nectarines to this. You can even uh, use mango or pineapple. And we're gonna add one diced avocado. I'm gonna squeeze in some lime juice. This is gonna give our salsa some zestiness and that nice fresh taste. And it's also gonna help preserve the color of our avocado. And I'm gonna season this with a little bit of salt. So about a quarter of a teaspoon. And for our final ingredient, I'm going to add in a little bit of red taco sauce. So this is the brand I'm using today, and it's just a m nice mild taco sauce. It's just going to help bring that salsa together. So I'm going to add a few tablespoons of that. And use a spoon and toss this all together. And now for my chicken. So today I'm using one pound of chicken thigh and I love to use thighs in this recipe because they're nice and juicy. I'm actually gonna fry them up whole and then we're gonna slice them afterwards. So for my seasoning, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of dried cumin, a teaspoon of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're gonna sprinkle that over the top. We're gonna season this also with some kosher salt. And some freshly ground black pepper. And I'm gonna pour over a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna take my tongs and just give all this a really good mix. So you'll wanna heat a frying pan over medium heat and once your pan is hot, go ahead and add your chicken. So you'll need to fry your chicken about seven to eight minutes on each side, depending on the thickness. And after my chicken is done, I'm gonna take it out and place it onto a paper towel to drain of any excess liquids and fat. As soon as you take out your chicken, you wanna go ahead and retain all those liquids that are left in the pan. And into the pan, I'm gonna add uh, one red bell pepper and I've just chopped it into small pieces. And we're gonna add one small onion. And I've sliced that into small pieces as well. And I'm just gonna sweat the pepper and onion. I don't necessarily wanna brown it. I just wanna cook it until it's nice and tender. Once your chicken has cooled enough that we can handle it, you wanna go ahead and take a sharp knife and just chop it up into nice small little pieces. And now for assembling our quesadillas. So today I'm gonna start out with four and I like to have like a conveyor style setup so it's super easy to put everything together. So first step is I'm gonna spread about a tablespoon and a half of some sour cream onto the tortilla. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle each tortilla with some shredded cheddar cheese. Now, I like cheddar cheese. If you prefer a different kind, you can always add that to your uh, quesadilla. Spread that in a nice even layer. Next, I'm gonna spoon on my bell pepper and onion mixture. And just add a little bit to each tortilla. And last, I'm gonna scoop on my diced meat. Just spread that in a nice layer over the top of everything. And for the last step, we'll just need to fold them over and they're gonna be ready to go back to the stovetop and we're gonna give them a nice grill on both sides so that cheese is nice and melted on the inside. Today I'm gonna to be using a grill pan on my stovetop and I've heated it over medium heat. Now if you don't have one, you can also do the exact same thing in a large frying pan. And you'll wanna cook these on each side for a few minutes and then turn it once it has a nice and golden brown color. So it doesn't need to cook for long, just to get that nice color and then melt the cheese on the inside. All right, so we have everything done. And to serve these, you just wanna take a sharp knife 
and cut them into quarters or halves, whichever you prefer. And I'm gonna add a side of that prepared salsa that we had. And I like to have a lot of salsa, so you can add as little or as much as you'd like. And this is ready to be enjoyed. And that's it for our chicken quesadillas. I love how simple they are to make and I just fill your whole house with this awesome aroma. And now it's time to give them a try. So what I like to do is place a little bit of that salsa right on top so you get some in every single bite. Oops, that fell off. Put that right back on. Mmm. These chicken quesadillas will hands down beat out any fast food restaurant any day. They're so, so good. You get that ooey gooey cheese on the inside with the sour cream and that spicy chicken. And I love the avocado salsa on the side. It's so refreshing. It adds so much great flavor to this recipe. You guys will absolutely love it. Next time you're looking for an easy and delicious dinner idea, give this recipe a try. You will not regret it. It's so tasty and it's so simple to put together. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Uh, don't forget to share with all your family and friends. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and I even create Pinterest boards on my Pinterest account. So uh, go over and check that out and you could share that online as well. Thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you next time.